Hello everybody, thanks for watching this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to replace um, the old speaker terminals with new speaker terminals, like the like modern speaker terminals where you can use banana plugs or uh, thicker um, speaker cables. In a Pioneer 8700 amplifier, I got those speaker terminals on speaker-terminal.com. Mm, that's a decent online shop. They have all kinds of speaker terminals for all kinds of amplifiers. So if you also want to do this, you're probably going to find uh, the model you need. So what you see here is the backside of the amplifier. You can see here the old speaker terminals. Um, this mechanism is just not made for for like for banana plugs or thick cables and i know that some sometimes this mechanism breaks and uh, then you need to replace those terminals uh, mine are working but still i would like to have new ones and yeah what you need to do is first open the case and then i'm going to show you how to proceed so this is the speaker terminal from the inside the old one so when you're going to replace it don't mix up the cables take a picture before uh, so you remember which cable belongs to which plus minus connection or a b speaker so what i'm going to do is cut those cables So now I'm gonna <clears throat> unscrew the old speaker terminals and replace them with the new ones and connect those wires to the new speaker terminal. Okay, so now I removed the old speaker terminal from the amplifier, from the case. And I'm going to solder the speaker wires to this little golden pins here. So because I have to solder it outside, it's pretty difficult to do it inside. I'm going to um, unscrew this golden pin here. Oh, one second. Solder it outside of the amplifier and then afterwards I connect it from the inside again. So this is gonna be soldered like I have been I've done that for for this wire already and then I connect it from inside with the new speaker terminal. So when you do this, don't forget to put a shrinkable tube to the cable before you if, before you solder it, because afterwards you're not gonna you cannot do it anymore. So um, there are two cables, the negative ones from the A and B speakers, 
which have to be connected, which were connected before. So you have to solder that together and afterwards connect it with this little pin. And that is what I'm going to do now for the brown cable. It's always helpful to have this third hand when you're soldering, otherwise it's pretty difficult to have it in one place. So. So now I'm going to put on the shrinking tube to isolate the whole thing. It's pretty hard to do it for the... Alright, I'm gonna cut the rest off. Um, first. Okay, that's enough. All right.
All right, so I've soldered all the cables here. It's finished. Um, put the shrinking tube on it and I'm gonna reconnect it from the inside. And as I said in the beginning, make sure you connect the right wires to the right pins here. Okay, so let's do it. Alright, first terminal is, is ready, it's finished. I'm gonna do the second one. I connected all wires to the new terminal. I'm gonna connect the terminal with the amplifier and then we're gonna try it. Okay, so I just connected the speaker cables with the amplifier and all the other stuff. Yeah, it looks very good and it works very good as well. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.